Right, so... For your viewers out there, I'm Arch Acadia. And, um... We're gonna have fun, we're gonna learn a few things, if possible, right? Got done. If you got done with your school date, I'm like, I'm not learning anything anymore. I'm like, well, that's too bad. You're, you are gonna learn something. <laughs> um, but we're gonna stroll into the jungle. Make sure that uh, make sure that we're gonna get in this area so they don't uh, sneak into that. They have. Uh, an okay, so another thing to notice about this bot lane. Is they have a Tarek and an Ash. Tarek has his stun, so if you think about trying to, um, uh, if you think about ganking the bottom lane, and you're like, well, should I gank the bottom lane? What are my chances of ganking this bottom lane? And because of his stun in particular, um, it makes it hard to get at them, to get at. Uh, to get at their bottom lane. Um, to, another note to take is uh, Yi has teleport, so he's definitely he's he's definitely going to try to split push and steal some towers. Um, that's one thing that, um, like, let's say your character's ahead and you're pushing a lane, pushing mid or something like that. One of the things that Yi can do. Um, I'm gonna throw a ward up here. One of the things that you you can do is still be you can still be uh, you can still be useful um, if you uh, can split and the, the rest of the team is just dying. That's one useful thing. All right, so awesome. Yasuo just got first blood. But what you want to do, um, you want to angle yourself so your spikes are hitting uh, all these guys. You get pretty low, but it's rare that you get a uh, an invade from uh, from a Yi jungler. So Yasuo uh, totally wrecked Mordekaiser. That is great news. And now, if you notice, bot lane is slightly a little. They're not. They're a little. They're on the cusp of overextending. Yeah. So we're just gonna put some damage on to Tarek. Not gonna kill him, but that's all right. But yeah, just. That's that's what you that's what you that is that was su that was unfortunate for Caitlyn and Tarek being in such you know being in that position. Um, but that but you you also need to realize that's when you as a jungler need to capitalize. Is when you you need to need able you need to be able to recognize uh, when you can make plays. Now, what is this? It looks like this Mordecai there just lost all faith. In the so this game might just go the way of the dodo. Now, okay, so. How do you take advantage? I mean, it's it's kind of like whatever you kind of do at this point. Well, uh, will make the game just absolutely winnable. Now he knows I'm in the area, so he's gonna play safe. So it was good just to show that I was up there. But another, uh, so to kickstart uh, the end of this game. We're going to, uh, because sometimes players will, uh, fake, like, oh, no, oh, 
Okay, so if Mordekaiser is it's if he wants to fake for a little bit that he's not that good. Um and then he'll come back and sort of like trick people that he was actually playing badly. He right there. So he he definitely threw out some trickiness right there. Um I wanna be honest, like when I saw when I see when I saw Mordekaiser, I felt like it was uh I felt like he just he just like appeared there. I didn't see him for a moment. But that's quite alright. Let's see, I want Cinder Hulk. Um, and I'm gonna go Trailblazer for extra health or extra. Uh, no, okay. It's it can be tempting to take boots, um, but I think it's important to. Uh, he's not gonna move well. He's just going up. Oh, he got him. Yeah, this Mordekaiser uh, is gonna give his gonna give his teammates a big headache. But it doesn't mean that this game is over. Uh, not by a long shot. Not for uh, because Yasuo can go. He can overextend. Uh, the Yi indefinitely. So, making sure we, uh, dominate them. We steal their stuff. And just, uh... One thing you can do is uh, invade their jungle, make sure they're not getting anything. Slow him down. I'm not gonna bother with him. You thought it was just Looks like sleep. she's goofing around. I guess they're gonna go do dragon. I ca I I don't have a ward. I'm kind of lacking it. You know, I'll try to get it. Sure we don't get dragon aggro. So this game is going pretty goofy. But Yasuo is in mid, just cleaning things up. So while these goofballs were like trying to do dragon and we were zoning them away. That's one reason why you want to get, uh, I think it was Trailblazer, to get some mana back. And I was this little mana starred right there. Mana back, deal their stuff. Oh so, yeah. It's it's quite uh it's advantageous to uh slow the other 
the other team down. The other jungler down. You definitely want to still slow the other team down. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah, so it's really uh, easy going this uh, this match. So what you want to concentrate on in this type of predicament, because it is possible to what they say is like to throw, where you're in a good position and the enemy team just catches you off guard and then a, a, a character like Yi can really clean up, especially with items. So if he's allowed to get items, he's allowed to be that threat, then the game that seemed so easy from before can just turn into a nightmare. So I'm gonna leave those to the tower so they can, uh, so I can get this down here. Just steal away all Yi's jungle while all this experience is being put in the tower. No one's gonna get that experience. So this is how you dominate a um, game that... Uh, it looked like Mordekaiser just... He, maybe he's having a bad day or something. But this is... This is how you make sure you get out. You get out of hand. Just you just dominate the situation. And I I will probably not go back for a good a good number of time. And if you notice, like I'm not bothering with uh I'm not bothering even going back for like uh Park is a tasty guy. So yummy. So good for you. So good for you. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Smite away. Keep taking uh. Ease jungle. I see her. Caitlyn's got- oh my goodness, this Caitlyn, look at her. With the fake out. So yeah, so to recap what has been happening, um, Mordekaiser has kinda made it especially difficult. Um, and this guy is trying to like very hard to get. Oh, it looks like uh, Mordekaiser got Yasuo's ghost. We're gonna put a ward in there. Check that, eat it, yum yum. He's gonna stun me and nothing's gonna happen. And I'm just gonna walk away. Always be willing to walk away. Don't, you never have to, just, you never have to commit for uh, something that you don't really need. And we're just actually gonna walk around, use a pot, that's nice. Just gonna stroll on up. Alright, Oh, that ice. See, that's where we can get a little sloppy.
So we can still get sloppy, so it's all about being, um... Being on top of things. Oh. Alright, so now I should probably think about going back. But since Pantheon's here, we're gonna do some dragon. So I've got my... My smite isn't up, but I can use my... I can use my eat as a... So I can I can do uh spy uh eat. All right, now I'm gonna head back. Now that my life bar is significant enough uh, that I can die. So let's see, we're gonna finish our Cinder Hulk. Da -da -da, Cinder Hulk. We're gonna get some boots, and um, since Tarek is stunning a bit, I get that. We're gonna go for a frozen heart. Or in this mail. Off armor. That. Build into a. Because, uh, one thing now and in the future, Yi is going to be a troublemaker. And to, to deal with the troublemaker, you get frozen heart. That's how you drop. That's how you deal with troublemakers. You get frozen heart. <laughs> All right. So it looks like they're they're all grouping. I think I'm gonna scare them off a little bit. Hurt them a little bit. Flash out of there. Might be screwed. Probably screwed. Oh, oh, am I gonna live? Am I gonna live? Please. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm not gonna live. But yeah, what allowed me to live was that uh, half frozen heart thing. If I gotten um, any, if I didn't get, if I got like a damage item, I definitely wouldn't have been able to get them so far in our jungle. And that's another thing, like, if you're being followed like that, um, try to stay alive, just don't give up. Because when you stay alive, you know, they, your team will eventually see that you're in um, some danger and come help you. So, even though I didn't do anything but kind of stun them up a bit, they should have realized even in their bad circumstance, that they should not have followed me so far. And this Yasuo needs to be Yeah. So, this Yasuo, he was playing good, but he need, he uh, he definitely... Um, we need to watch what he's doing. Aw, oh, yeah. Paying attention to our bro. So we're gonna get this... Uh, and we should kill things a bit quicker with our, uh, with our abilities and our finished, our finished cinder bolt. We're gonna eat this. Yum. We're just in time for this. This might to get the, uh, the effect. Let's see, what is the effect? The crest of insight? Is that it? No, 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 no. Generation? No, yeah, it's the gift of the toadstool. Attackers are poisoned for 59 magic damage. Oh. So as long as somebody is attacking you, they will take that damage. They will take... Oh, where is it? Okay, so 59 magic damage over 3 seconds. And that's, that's a good, that's a good, that's a decent amount, right? So I surprised he a bit. And he won't be able to do anything. So yeah, 
as you can see, uh, Yi is still very, like, uh, he can still do things on the map. Um, so that's why you got to, uh, But he, uh, he definitely should have just walked out of there. So yeah, it's it's pretty casual, and the enemy, um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like they have a full life. full like thought out plan going on here. So they're just a little confused maybe as to what they should be. Now if I were them, hmm. Even so so Mora Kaiser caused a lot of problems because he uh, he allowed Yasuo to get ahead and maybe he was upset that or maybe he took took the wrong rune page. He was upset about that. But um, you want to think about it at this point, of extending, extending lanes. Make sure that somebody has to come back and make sure that they can't group up. For them, grouping would be the best thing. Eat that. So I'm more concentrating on stealing their jungle. I have hardly at all been... Let's see, so the dragon's up. I've hardly at all been in my left. Hardly at all been in here. I don't think I've been in there once. But Cho'Gath finishes this guy pretty slowly. Check out what's going on. It's like Pantheon now. Uh, I'm gonna watch this for about to eat it. And continuing to uh, keep mid lane pushed and farming their jungle. And this is all about closing out. A simple game that, sadly, um, Mordekaiser, he lost his, he lost his will to fight. But thank goodness I'm so tanky. Yeah, it, de it definitely has to be like a, a rework mortifier. Because he looks like he's getting some speed ups. Right. I'm just gonna back out. He's got some. So Mordekaiser has some interesting new abilities now. I'm not exactly sure how they work. Um, okay, so we're gonna get some wards. Uh, let's see, armor, magic resistant. Okay, so this is a this is kind of a playful item to get. Um, so we're gonna get that. And it, it'll give us some magic resistance. And we'll get another pink ward, just in case this ward is, uh... But with the item that I'm building, you actually get a speed up around your own turrets. You won't get a speed up anywhere else. And um, it looks like you get a speed up even if the turret is gone. But yeah, so now the speed up is actually gone um, from me. So now we need to, uh, because these guys are so far up and Pantheon was looking to get mid. Um, but uh, what, what's pretty good is for me to push top. I 
I could, you know, be in the battle with them. But in this case, since they're so power, well, even if, yeah, in, their, in this case, they're quite powerful. Um, Caitlyn can certainly handle things on her own, but it's just more um, efficient. That's interesting, I'm getting, getting my speed up. I guess it's enemy turrets too. That's actually really awesome. We're gonna eat that. Mordekaiser is doing a good job uh, making sure that nobody sneaks up beside him. And I'm just being pesky. Eating. And basically starving, starving out there, guys. So now I can just kind of zone Renekton without uh, worrying too much. So I think I saw some of them, you know, come down this area, and they're just completely wasting their time. Um, and it looks like they're gonna get this. They're gonna get bottom tower. So instead of joining, we're gonna stroll over to top tower and push that. And while I stroll over there, watch them decimate some people. Take care of that. Yasuo has taken a lot of, you know, he's taken a lot of damage, so he'll definitely, he'll definitely want to go after Yasuo or somebody. So this game is getting close to being over. And this would be a good example of when you're ahead, how just to make sure that you don't get a Yasuo fed, uh, not a Yasuo, but to make sure that you don't get a, uh, a, a Yi that ends up getting fed and you're in a position where your lead is completely you know, gone. And you're like, and everybody's going, what happened? How did they get so strong? How did we screw this up? Blah, blah, blah. So even if we, you know, come back, so even if like, we're doing good, and then we do bad, and then we still win, it's all about just making it easy on us. But I guess, yeah. I just need to pay attention to what's going on. Okay, I need a... So we're just gonna end it. Nice and clean. We won! Miraculous! Can you believe that was a ranked game? Oh, mercy. Okay. That was a ranked game. Can you believe it? Alright, let's look at the numbers. Let's see, uh, so, look at my numbers, they're not too impressive. Just one death, and from that one death, we got an ace from them. Um, Janna got no kills, just two, 17 assists, she did a great job. Um, let's check out some of her items. Nomad's Medallion, so it's, an up, it's, it's not a complete upgrade of uh, sort of that speed up, that ball that speeds up. So it's, uh, she got Zeke's Harbinger which is a new item, and let's check it out. Uh, unique active, bind to target ally. Okay. Uh, bind to target ally, 60 second cooldown. Unique passive is when 1,000 units of each other, you and your ally generate charges. Attacking or casting spell generates extra charges. At 100 charges, causing your damage to consume them, increasing your ally's ability to power, to ability power, 20% and critical strike chance. Okay, okay, so it looks like this item, um, so this support item, after 100 charges, um, you generate charges uh, by attacking or casting spells when you attack. You get, so, 
So after getting a certain amount of charges, then you can um, then you can uh, use it to buff your guy, and I guess obliterate the enemy. Uh, this Caitlyn went a perfect ten zero ten. Yasuo, Yasuo. So check that out. Yasuo died quite a few times, and in the beginning that helped him. His um, his uh. His take charge attitude, his like get in, uh, get in, uh, get in Mordekaiser's face attitude was really helping. But when it came to team fights, he dies pretty easily, so he was probably getting himself into some uh, uh, situations that he shouldn't have been in. Uh, so he was a little reckless. So knowing that he was reckless, you should tr you should watch out for your guys. If you if you get a sense that another player um, is a little too reckless. It can be good sometimes, but I would say to prevent that, you want to try to watch what he's doing. Make sure you ward in areas that he is venturing out into. And let's see Mordekaiser. So even though Mordekaiser looked like he was giving up kills, um, and it looks like he's got an interesting build. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure if this build is viable. If if that works with his current current stuff. I'm pretty sure Mordekaiser is still AP uh, related. He wants AP items, but that's it's it's pretty interesting. I don't know if that's viable with his uh, new rework or not. Um, let's see. We've got and then Renekton, Titanic Hydra. I guess that's a a buffed Hydra or something like that. A new Hydra item. So there's a lot of new items that I'm not even aware of yet. And then Yi, um, let's see, he got his Devourer, and he tried to do things on the map, but unfortunately the way that we controlled the map, the way that we controlled the jungle, and the way that we had vision on the jungle, it's very hard for anyone to come back from that. Now, if we didn't, if, if I, you know, did things more recklessly, like Yasuo, we could have put ourselves into a position, a bad position, or even an equal position, where they could come back, and if you in, and if we're in a bad position and we're low, and Yi ultimates and he's able to slaughter everybody, um, then that's bad. You can you can lose several towers, even in an inhibitor tower and an inhibitor, um, if Yi can get rolling it and he gets because he has the capacity of uh, um. Killing an entire team, he can he can pen a kill pretty fairly easily, and he can disappear with his Q with his Alpha Strike, and so yeah. So this is a good example of, um, I guess Mordekaiser was sad that he couldn't own his lane, and he was just tra tranced on, and he could have handled that better. Um, and this is a lesson of how when the other team seems to give up at an early stage, how you close that out. You, you take command of their jungle, you make sure that their jungler can't get uh, items, and you, you ward, and they're going to walk in their jungle, and as tanky as I was, um, you know, it, it wasn't too dangerous for me to uh, continue to do what I was doing. But if you're a less tanky jungler, you're more of an assassin, you want to you wanna make sure you watch yourself, because there can be more than one people in their jungle, so you'd be, you'd think about warding it first. Uh, more than anything. All right, so, all right, so I think that's a good conclusion. Um,